How's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel, I'm Brian and in today's video what I'm going to be showing you is my Call of Duty settings. I've done quite a bit of research on this, looking at loads of different videos trying to bring things together that can actually work for mid-range PCs. This isn't going to be too much stress on your graphics card but it's also going to make things look better at the exact same time. And if you stick around to the very end I'll be showing you ways where you can reduce your ping using settings on your PC. So by the end of this video, if you follow these steps, you're going to have a very optimal view of the game. Now, without any further ado, let's get into my settings. Right, so when you go into the options menu in the game, this is what you see. I use these settings here just for my personal preference. You can mess around with these whatever you want. I find my mouse sensitivity at 10 works perfect for me, but you might find something different. So never really uh, go by this if this is, you disagree with something here. This one is all about personal opinion. I do recommend though, if you do have the side buttons on your mouse, and um, to assign them to something i have mount uh mount my gun and lethal grenades on there just because that's what i find easiest to use and i have q as my attachments and um, you might see if you watch any of my gameplay videos that i have e is use button and i use f as melee just because i find that easier because of other games that i'm used to playing but everything else here is about standard movement weapons equipment all that is your own personal preference none of nothing i can do here is going to change that but if we go into general settings here, this is where we start to get a bit more in-depth view about how things are going to work. So field of view, I have at the max. I absolutely just need it at the max because you have more view. If you look at the description here, you can see more things. It's very, very simple that you want to be able to see most things on screen. So I'll go for that. And um, you can see here it's independent because you don't want it blurry as you go through. A lot of these settings are quite basic, but it makes things very easy to do. Brightness, I never really believe this square nonsense on the side. I always make things brighter than it tells me to be. Like that says barely visible, but I, it's pretty visible there. I just find it easier to see things and it makes things a lot better to go. Horizon heads up display 100, 100. Put this to enabled because you don't really want to be watching the introduction movie every time. Tool tips, blah, blah, blah. Subtitles, all this. So when you come down to the HUD, you want to be able to use the square map because you want to be able to see as much as you can within the map and obviously rotating as well because you want to always be able to look at, see what direction you're facing. So if you see a dot, you know you're facing north, west or south or whatever. So that's what you want to go for. Compass dial numbers, just because it's easier than shouting out, oh, west, what's west, 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 I don't know the map very well. So you want numbers because it's easier to communicate to your team to see which way they're going. This is enabled, disabled, enabled, templarity. You can just have a look at this here. I like to be able to view everything at the top of the screen here, only because I just want to get as much information as possible to see what I need to change. Because this is how I've done a lot of the testing to make this video. I used it to see what's good, what's bad. Packet loss, you just need to know if you're in a laggy server or not. Latency is your ping. You need to know if it's crap. FPS, it makes just things very easy. You want it as high as possible, latency low. Everything else here, you want low, 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 low. Just FPS is the high one, so that's all good to know. Um, credits, blah blah blah. Graphic settings. Now this is where we go things here. Currently, I'm using full screen borderless. That's just because I'm recording. When I'm in game, I always use full screen, only because you get far better FPS. It might increase it by about five to ten, which is huge when you're in game. If you have it in borderless, it goes through there. I don't recommend the other ones. Um, just because it's not for me but full screen definitely gives you a bigger one but for the sake of this video i'm using borderless but go and use full screen and um, i've got a monitor settings you want to pick that there's my graphics card as you can tell it's not a high-end one because i'm not multi-millionaire proper streamers or whatever this is what i want to use render resolution i want to keep it at 100 because that's max into the there if you do find though if you do want to reduce this though your fps does go up but it does take away from the display quality of the game so just keep that in mind but if you do want to increase your fps go for it i've found it's not really much different dropping this to about 75 so anything between that's absolutely fine aspect ratio automatic you don't want to be messing around with that because your screen looks weird keep this on disabled custom frame rate i do use this this is what i found out from using other videos in my research for going for this one a custom display rate or sorry gameplay custom frame rate i keep it 170 menu doesn't really matter 60 is fine out of focus custom 30 just because you don't want to put too much strain on your graphics card and end up getting crashes but keep going for that video highlights disabled just don't need it restart sh uh, shaders installation you, you get that every so often it's fine keep display gamma 2.2 text resolution i've seen so many people say keep this on low keep this on high keep this on low keep this on high as you can see when you do switch between the, uh, the ram usage it goes way up um, is massive. I find normal is fine. Um, I've never had really too much bother with it. Obviously, you put it on low, it makes it easier, but normal works best for me. 
it's just the way it is. I don't really see that much of a problem with it. Um, texture filter, low, particle quality, low, bullet impact sprays enabled. It just gives you a little bit more information. As you can see, it does nothing to the RAM, so keep it on enabled. It gives you information if someone's been through there. It might help you in multiplayer more than Warzone and so, so on from there, but yeah, just keep it on there. Tessellation disabled. I don't really see much use in that. It's It doesn't change anything, but I don't really get much benefit from it, so just keep that disabled. Shadow map resolution low. Uh, spot shadows disabled, disabled, low, disabled, disabled, disabled. Keep this on uh, T2X. I just don't really see much usage in it. Again, it's fine for me, this one. I don't want to mess around with things that just make it a bit more strain on the graphics card because uh, I don't have the right monitor to match this, so I just keep it there. Depth of field, you want this disabled because you don't want any blur on the screen when you don't have to. So just keep that disabled. It'll give you more information and help you better at the game. I don't even know why it's in the game. I don't know anyone who would ever prefer that as enabled, but whatever, each to their own. Keep this on zero because you don't want to see these grainy stuff. Disabled, you, I don't know why they want to put blur in the game. You want to play the game to the best of your ability. You don't want to have blur. It just baffles me doing that. So that there is my graphic settings. Now, going over to audio settings here, I've had so many people here um, going for different things. Why did that go enabled? Oh, that's because I put it on full screen, didn't I? That's fine. I've seen so many people say that boost low is better. I do not agree at all. I find boost high is better for hearing footsteps just because of the different types of terrain they walk on. Um, if you're in a building, I find that walking on floorboards, things is screechy. So you want to hear the high pitch voices. Maybe if they're outside on concrete, okay. But when you're outside, you're going to be able to see them better, easier. Inside, boost high, I just find so much easier. My master volume settings, these are going to all just depend on what you are. Everyone can know how to modify these to make sure they go the way they do. Dialogue volume, keep going. Voice chat, keep enabled. Um, these are just the settings that work better for my headphones. You're going to have to change these yourself to find out which works better for you. But mainly this video is about the graphic settings there and about which each of them go through. Hit marker sounds, modern warfare, jumping, blah, 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 blah. You don't really need to change that. Always keep an open mic just because it's easier for chatting to people. And then you get that one Egypt that plays music through it and then you just go and mute them. And yeah, that is my graphics and general settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And now let's move into reducing your ping. So two quick ways here to reduce your ping that I found really useful. If you press the Windows key and R, it pops up the run button. And if you type in percent temp percent, and it brings up this folder here. Now, what you need to do is if you do control A, right click, delete, make sure it's all gone. These are obviously the ones that are in use right now because Discord's open, but that's fine. So we've got this here now. That's all the stuff that goes in there. Then you want to go into your recycle bin and then just delete everything there again. That deletes it there and it makes things run a lot better on your PC. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to flush your DNS, which will reduce your ping if you're using wireless settings. Because obviously, if you can use wired, 100% use it. But if, like me, your router's at the other end of the house and you can't get a wire running up through all sorts of things, you've got to use wireless. That's life. Nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to show you how to flush your DNS. If you press the Windows R key again and then type in CMD, this brings up your command prompt, which looks like this. You might have white text. I just prefer this to look like the matrix, so I use this. Then you type in ipconfig if I could spell IP conflict slash flush DNS boom that will flush your DNS and reduce things to make it a bit better for your ping so that's just going to make things a lot better for your game and help you be able to play the game better and that's it for today's video guys if you did find this useful please drop a like down below and subscribe for more Call of Duty content coming your way there will be another episode of Warzone Bingo coming on Monday which is really really exciting I can't wait to show you guys that and I will see you guys then see you later you just come over, they just come over to me in the heli and just wouldn't leave me alone <laughs> as I was shooting them Keep the stopping power for the Lord. so many people here in the gulag <laughs> Party, yeah. yeah, boy. Oh, what a shot! Did you wreck someone? Oh, dude, that was like a two, a hundred plus meter with the RPG. Mm, what is he dead? Down? Yeah, killed him.